back, we back. Yeah, man, y'all know what it is, man. True 32 back up in this thing, man. Giving y'all another update, dog. It's week 10, about to be week 11, really, man. Uh, we transitioning, dog. Let's let's see what's going on in the league right now, man. You know them dreadnoughts still doing their thing, sitting at the top. Got me wondering, man, who gonna knock them boys off sitting at 9 0, man? And still got the Raiders doing their thing, man. Took that one loss, but uh, still holding it down, man. And then, uh, man, if you pay attention, man, you see the top four teams, man, top five of the six teams, uh, AFC, dog. It looks tight over there, man. Falcons holding it down for the NFC, though. And then we're going to flip the page and see what's exactly, what exactly is going on in the NFC, man. Like I said, Dreadnoughts and Falcons holding it down. Got the Rams and the Giants close behind, man, leading eight divisions. But then, uh... Man, yo, check this out. We got them uh, Cardinals, man, the Young Gunners, man. Uh, I want to tune in real quick, man. I let this dude, I don't even want to interview him. I just want to talk to him, see what's up, man. Yo, Troy, man, you with me, dawg? I let the people, man. Let them know what's up, dawg. Uh, where, where you rapping? Uh, it's True 32. It's about them Young Gunners. Alright, man, I feel that. But you got this persona, man, this swag that got everybody taking shots at you, man. What's up with that? I don't know why they come for the young gunners, man. I don't know why everybody coming at them, man. I think they scheme. Come on, man. It's mad, dog. I understand the trash talk, but... I mean, dog, what are, what are they scared of? Break that down for me, man. What that mean? I think they scared of what we could do. They scared of the potential we got. They scared of these young savages I done put together. Because we young and we hungry. Youngest team in the league and we bang. Uh, and I feel that confidence. That, that's what's up, man. But do do you feel like you making yourself a target on purpose with the trash talk, man? Nah, man. I don't personally make myself a target. You know, I just I just like to I just like to show my boy support when they do something good. You know, and let the world see. And I feel like niggas forgot about me. You know what I'm saying? Back in PS3, I was one of them goons. One of those first original True 32 members. TJ know about me. Me and that nigga was meeting up in Super Bowls. Right, but that could mean you fell off. You know what I'm saying? People have their prime. People have their, their peaks and their, their lows, man. You could have just lost it, dog. I mean, yo, that's how I look at it. So that's why it's my job to let niggas know I'm back. And I'm here with these young gunners to get my name back. You feel me? All right, now what I want you to do, man, I want you to speak on this beef you got going with the commish, man. Hey, put your take on it. Oh, I got a lot of respect for Teflon. Got a lot of respect. You know, being a commish to the league, you take a lot. They do, you got to attend to 31 other niggas. But, but lately, I feel like the man is being real petty. I feel like you're being petty towards the young gunners, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we ain't getting no respect out here. Like round week three, I had a trade with Tennessee. Well, no, about week five, I had a trade with Tennessee. You know, sent Marcus Mariota to over here to young gunners to future. And then he brought up some unwritten rule that he couldn't even show me where it was posted at. You know what I'm saying? But you can't get a trade. You can't trade a player that you just got from free agency. That's, that's crazy. A deal presents itself, anybody can go. And now, I just bust down Lumberjack's ass last night. And he talking about some stream. Where the stream at? At 2.45 in the morning. Buddy was crying loud, so I turned the stream off. You know what I'm saying? You sleep, nigga. What you worrying about a stream for? Alright, I feel you, man. But the stream is the rules, bruh. But anyway, man, before we get up out of here, dog, I'm going to let you speak on, uh, man, the last question. How far you going to take this thing, man? You 6-3 and three right now, man. You, How far you going to take this thing? 72 overall. But we out here. 6-3. and three. Home. Young gun. All right, man, so we're going to take a trip through the league, man. Look at these divisions. And as you can see, man, most divisions are... A two-man race, man. Uh, you saw the Jaguars and Texans. You see the Lumberjacks and Bulldogs, man. These boys in the AFC doing their thing, man. Raiders pulling it out in the West, but they got the Chiefs right behind them. Then we go over to the North, man. NFC, that is. 
got the Vikings and the Bears, man. Both of them, you know, struggling right now. They doing their thing, but they struggling. And then, uh, as mentioned before, the Dreadnoughts and the Falcons holding it down, man. That's going to be a battle right there. Man, I saw these uh, Giants, man, say something on the board like, ain't nobody in the NFC messing with them. But they sitting at 5-3, and three, man. Five wins ain't going to get it. But, uh, yeah, man, like I said, check these divisions out, see what's going on. One of the most interesting divisions is this AFC North, man. Not because the teams are scary or nothing, man, but because these Steelers, man, new coming to the league, Earl. Going to OG Stacks, man. He got the league buzzing right now, so we're going to holler at him, man. What up, OG? What's good, Rio? What up with you, man? And uh, we going to get right to it, man. You a newcomer to this league, man. You a contender, too? Yeah, man. Uh, I feel like I'm a contender. I, I feel like I've been doing the last two seasons. Yeah, you've been doing your thing, man. Playoffs last year, early exit, but playoffs nonetheless, man. And uh, with the gameplay, though, has come a little bit of talk, man. Well, what's up with that? I, I have to open my mouth and say some shit, you know, to, 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 to catch people's attention. Uh, my play and my mouth was, was spring, you know, to open up my eyes. It'll bring guys' A games up. That's what I think. Um, you know, but yeah, being a new guy, I need to set the tone by talking shit and with my play. All right, and uh, huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on back, come on back, come on back. I got something to say real quick. You know, on that shit talking. You know, you know. I don't know. I don't know this dude Splash Early, whatever his name is. This old. Uh, this, this this old semi-pro playing bastard. Don't you ever call me no bitch, dog. You know you don't know me. You you don't know you you don't know shit about me, dude. Uh, why I'm from the D? When you say a bitch, that means what? We going to scrap. We going we gonna fight. Period. I don't know what you do out there, but you need to settle down with that bullshit, man. Real talk. Yo, I, man, I guess that, that trash talk brings a lot of anger out of people, too, because I saw you got into it with this cat from, from the Chiefs, man. Uh, Be cold, dog. <laughs> Be cold, man. Chiefs, no, it's really not a beef, man. I mean, uh, it started after that McKay loss. You know, I said some, some choice words to McKay on the page. You know, he found that, you know, kind of, you know, he didn't that didn't sit right with him so instead of him putting it on the page he came to my inbox like yo I was like damn man does he know who he talking to like yo he snapped it off on me but you know I gained some respect from that and uh he a good player he's a good player I like him yeah man I like that competitive dog but uh you in the AFC man five of the top seven teams are in the AFC man how you gonna fare with that five of the seven teams huh <laughs> AFC, we doing our thing, you know. NFC, I don't know what y'all doing over there. Yeah, y'all better do something, <laughs> cause we coming. Yeah, I mean, you just can't throw your name up in the top ranks, dog. How many bodies you done caught, man? Uh, yeah, of course, but can't get my number. He shut me out in the playoffs, but I've beaten the Raiders, beat them down. Um, I beat the Chiefs, tough opponent. Like I said earlier, um, Jags never played them. Uh, I know he has good offense, but the Raiders gave him six picks, and uh, and the Raiders still beat him. So I kind of question that, you know. But uh, all in all, I think I'm sitting real nice in the AFC right now. I, I think I'm holding my own, and uh, we doing our, you know, we doing our thing. Yeah, and I feel that, man. But before we get out of here, man, we got to get love to the bums of the league, dog. What are you doing with your life when you ain't won not one game in nine attempts, man? Get a, Go play hockey or something, dog. Now, before we dip for real, for real, man, we're going to check out some of these Week 11 matchups like the Dreadnoughts and Falcons, Division Rivals, man. That's going to be a good one. Brown still is another good one, man. We got uh, Vikings, Jaguars. That should be pretty entertaining, man. So... Yo, stay tuned, keep it locked. You know what it is, True 32, cup. I got the Jesus on the chain, man. I don't mean cause when the Jesus peace.
nieces Can't bring me peace, so I need just at least uh, one of Russell's nieces